All right, welcome back to more Dark Souls. How have you all been doing? I am the Noisemaker. And finally, fucking finally, this better be the fucking attempt. I know I only have one gold pine resin, but motherfucker, I'm gonna do it. This scaleless motherfucker is going down. You fucking lanky prick. Oh. I just avoided that. Off camera, I went ahead and grabbed uh, two purging stones. So, I am no longer susceptible to Seath's very wonderful curse. I'm going to do my damnedest to ensure that I do not get cursed. God damn it, I don't want to get cursed again. Oh god. I'm coming into this fight with a new mindset. I am prepared, motherfucker. Oh shit. What are you doing, motherfucker? Oh, time to run. I swear on all of my biscuits, this guy will not curse me again. All right, I'm out of electricity. But I will not let that stop me. I do a little bit less damage, but it's nothing I'm not used to. I'm doing a long range attack when I'm right in front of them. I was doing a short range attack. That makes sense. Oh god, how did I not get hit by that? I mean, I'm glad I didn't get hit by that, but wow. Sorry, I'm not talking much. I'm just focused because I don't want to die again. He is ugly. I think I've gotten the pattern down again. It's all about making sure, oh shit. You have enough stamina to run away from him and making sure he stays away from the edges of the arena. So you have enough room to actually run away from his curse. What is he doing? Oh, okay. I thought I didn't. I couldn't tell. And finally, after a fucking whole episode of fighting this guy. Gosh. Oh, gosh. I gotta go check something. Sorry for the pause there. <clears throat> anyway, so for defeating Seath, we have received 60,000 souls. That's. I think the biggest reward for a boss we've gotten thus far. We are absolutely going to use every single last one on endurance because we can only level up like, what was that, twice? Jesus. But as you can see now, Bubba Fleshbow, our main protagonist, has finally reached level 50. He's actually 51. Um, with that, we can go start our next major area, which... 
fuck. You know what? We're gonna do. We're gonna do my. my uh, we're gonna. We're gonna. We're gonna do the fire area next. We'll save the two hardest bosses for last. That seems befitting. For those of you who do not remember, or maybe didn't watch that episode in particular, I don't remember which one it was at this point. We are right below where we fought Quelag, the boss of Blighttown. And all that time ago, I said that once we beat Ceaseless, there was no reason, reason to progress any further down through the Demon Ruins. Well, now that we've beaten Ornstein and Smo, and obtained the Lord Vessel, Lord Vessel, we have a reason to finally come back here. The Golden Fog Gate that was blocking us from progressing has been dis dissipated, so we may now progress. Also, um, for those of you who didn't know, or didn't see, whenever we beat Ceaseless, the lava that was down here was cool. So that also would have been a blocking to our progression. As you can see, all those things over there, those are tortoise demons. The first boss in the game, and there's like nine of them over there. So, uh, don't go over there. However, up ahead... As you can see, the Capper Demon has made his return as well. And there's actually quite a few down this path. However, I'm not going to fight him. I'm going to let him run up to me and let him do his thing. Ow! And let him hit me, apparently. But I'm going to run like hell because I don't feel like fighting him. If I was a human right now, there would be an invader here. But since I'm not human, I'm not going to be invaded. As you can see, we have a few Capper Demons up here, but if we take a peek down there, we have a bonfire down there. So, we're just gonna skip past them and come down here. But, as you can see, there's someone guarding our bonfire. It's a fucking worm. We're gonna try to bait out an attack. Power attack. And rinse and repeat. And yeah, be very careful because this guy does a fuck ton of damage. That's why you want to bait on an attack first. And then back the hell up. Oh, I didn't I forgot he spits. Oh shit. Come on. And dead. Now he's one of the few enemies that does not respawn. So once you've killed him, don't worry about him coming back. And now we have our bonfire. Of which I'm going to level up real quick because we have a boss ahead of us here. Twin humanity real quick. Where's Halloween? You can hear the Taurus demons walk, or not Taurus demons, uh, Capra demons walking above. Kindle. Now we have our level 2 bonfire. And, if any of you have played Dark Souls, you know what the Demon Ruin is infamous for. This is a boss gauntlet, essentially. There are... I mean, Ceaseless technically is the first of the gauntlet. But since we took him down early, we've actually made the gauntlet easier. We have a boss right up ahead of us in that fog gate. And now that is not our great lord. That's just a boss. A regular old boss. And actually, uh, we're going to remember him. He's going to be very familiar to us. Because his name is the Demon Fire Sage. And he is a clone of the, as um, yeah, the, the Asylum Demon. Now, this guy's actually, he's not the hardest boss in the world, but he definitely has a few tricks up his sleeve that the Asylum Demon did not have. In particular, I believe, was it that, it wasn't that move. He has a few moves that the Asylum Demon wishes he had, that he has 
incredibly strong AoE attacks. The only way to dodge them is to run past the Fire Sage Demon. So try your best to not attack. Oh god, yeah, case in point. It's very hard to dodge that attack. Because it extends quite a bit off of him and has quite a huge radius. Ouch, and I'm probably going to die. That's another one of his AoEs. We're going to take this opportunity to heal. Ooh. You just have to kind of stay close to him and dodge behind him whenever he does that. That's why whenever he does that, I'll just back the hell up. Why did I stop there? That was weird. And then run close to him. This guy is one mean some son of a bitch if you let him. Because that AoE will extend all the way across his body. Oh, I thought... Let him do his AoE real quick. It looks like he's casting a spell whenever he does that. Because technically what he's holding is a catalyst. Oh, I'm dead. Yeah, the Fire Sage Demon is one of the few bosses I feel like is technically unfair. Because he'll hit you while you're down. But, that being said, being one of the easier bosses in the game, I'm not too miffed about it. Because... He is, like, really easy. But we are definitely getting to the point in the game where it is expected to die at least a few times on each boss. Because I am definitely not a no-death run guy. Like, I am not good at Dark Souls by any means. <laughs> um, so, yeah, from this point forward, expecting me to die at least a few times on some of these bosses... It's also just that my timing isn't the greatest when it comes to Dark Souls, because I haven't played Dark Souls all that much recently. I'm going to hit him a few times. You don't want to get too greedy, of course. Let him do his AoE. Whoa, what was that? Now that I look at it, me and him have a very similar fighting style. And, you know, mad respect. I'm gonna get hit here. Yeah, that's how crazy that AoE is. And, wow, I really shouldn't even gotten hit there. Take a sippy break. I'm kind of getting lucky right now with what kind of attacks he's doing. I'm also lucky that I have a weapon with such good reach. I wasn't even near you, bro. Oh, good, good time for me to use that attack because it's such a strong buildup. It gives me time to actually get away. And whenever he gets his back to like a wall like that, I usually just try to back up because it's like very hard to actually dodge him once he does that. Wind-up attack gives me time for a power attack. Another long, long wind-up attack that gives me time for a power attack. 
I'm 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 all for these slow attacks, bro. Yeah, I'm just gonna back up. They can come to me. All right, bro. Oh, do another ray away. Grab my souls, I guess. Oh shit! There we go. Okay. Whew. He's so low. He's so low. Come on, try to coax him over here. Come on, come on, come on. Yes. Nice. What was that? Like the second attempt only? And by defeating him, you actually get his weapon, the demon catalyst. I don't know if that's considered a boss weapon. But it does look like the weapon that he uses. All right. I'm going to go up here real quick. To the upper part of where his arena was. Okay. Thanks, game. I totally could have kited around him if you let me game. <laughs> Fuck. But anyway, by going to the top of the arena, we're going to see a very familiar thing. Does anyone remember this? Now we can actually use it. We're back at Quailag's Domain, where we started the episode, actually. Yep, now we have a shortcut all the way down to the Fire Sage's arena and access to our bonfire right here, which is actually a warp point. So not only do we have quick access back to our bonfire, but it's quick access back to a warp point, which is incredibly useful. Now, the next boss. I was saying how the Demon Fire Sage isn't really one of the hardest bosses, and as you can see, once you kind of get his timing down, he really isn't. I mean, he has some unfair attacks, but like, as long as you keep your composure through the from the beginning of the fight to the end of the fight, it's not that hard. This next guy, this next guy is actually kind of a pain in the ass. Um, we've actually seen him before. Do you remember when we... Oh shit, I fell way further than I thought I was going to. Do you remember when we were looking down... Uh, down the demon ruins when we were look, uh, on our way to Ceaseless we could actually see the boss in question we are going to be fighting the centipede demon next and he is his arena is a lake of lava and we don't do that great in lava however if we can manage to cut off one of his appendages we can make the fight much easier also, I should probably spend these souls before I go into the fight. I will spend them on endurance. Oh, I'll spend the one level on endurance and then probably lose those 8,000 souls. Um, if we had progressed Solaire's quest, he would be summonable for, uh, summonable for this fight. But this is probably one of the only fights in the game where I will say, do not summon. This fight is... Way too hard if you summon Solaire because Solaire does literally nothing. And you don't need him just increasing the boss's health pool. This boss is way easier on your own. There is also a way to cheese this fight, but I not only don't know how to do it, but I'm not gonna cheese it. Centipede Demon. We saw earlier he was clinging to this wall. Well, now we've kind of uh, pissed him off. What's up, bro? See all those arms? Well, if we cut off one of them, this fight will be much easier. We're gonna start by making our way across this little hot area. What we wanna do is get to that island out in the center. And hopefully do so without getting hit. All right. 
managed to get to the island, which means we actually have access to the the little bit of rock on the island, or the rock in the arena. Wow, I just cannot hit him. Wow, really? Wow, I suck. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Yeah, I dodged too early. And dodged too late. Oh god, that's lava. I didn't realize how far to the edge I had gotten. He's being really timid in that particular instance. I don't know why. Normally, he's a lot more aggressive than that. This is one of the most aggressive fights in the game. Like, he doesn't really like to let you sit and rest for a minute. And he was really kind of letting me just kind of sit there and, like, watch him. Which he never usually does. Which is interesting. drink what we don't want to do is get stuck on this part of it because if we do then the fight actually gets a lot harder come on come on come on come on ow yeah and he can sometimes knock you into the lava which is not fun Oh god, I didn't even know he could grab me. That looks painful. Don't be a one shot, please. It was practically a one shot because I really had no chance to get away from that. I, I might be in trouble. Oh god. I'm gonna give it one more attempt before I end the episode. I don't know if I've had this much trouble with him because like I, maybe I just have forgotten how to fight him because it has been a while. Drink, drink, drink. And roll. Roll, 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 roll. Roll, 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 roll. Alright, fucker. I'm trying to get underneath him. Cut off his tail. And now you actually do have to kill his appendages, by the way. You can't just let them roam. Is that the correct one? That is the correct one. Wonderful. That is the ring that if we equip, we are now in, we would be immune to lava. I'm not even sure I'm gonna need it though, to be honest. Now, his appendages do grow back. He is one of the few bosses where killing his appendages really only means temporary relief from his hell. So don't get used to him kind of being easier with it. And once you've actually cut off one of his appendages, he actually does become significantly easier. Because every attack he has is related to his appendages. And... Wow, he's actually kind of a pushover now. I guess once you... Oh, God. Once you get the ring, like I said, this fight does kind of become a joke. Try not to cut off any unnecessary appendages, because, like I said, they only increase the enemy pool you have to face. Ok, 
Okay, I don't like that he's not over the island anymore. Sip. I... I don't like how this is going. What happened? What happened? <sighs> well, for now, I guess we can end the episode. We did make quite a big, um, quite a big jump in progress by defeating the Demon Fire Sage and even getting the Orange Shard Ring. So anyway, I hope you guys. Are, uh, <laughs> I hope you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Um, comment below who you think of the series. Leave a like if you liked it. Um, and you know, don't be afraid to subscribe. You know, you can always unsubscribe later. Um, and I guess I'll see you next time for when we hopefully defeat the centipede demon because the the boss after this is the next great lord, and they are one of the easiest fights in the entire game. Like, really easy. <laughs> The only reason I did this one after Seath was because of the fights leading up to it, which makes this area hard. So, in the next episode, we will be hopefully finishing up the Centipede Demon and facing the rest of the Lost Isleth. So, I'll see you guys whenever that happens. Bye-bye.